Hey guys, welcome back to another can review. Happy Halloween. This week we are checking out the Oxorcist 2 by Old Ox. Barrel aged pumpkin, imperial pumpkin ale. Pour it out and see if it's good. Cool. Yeah. So this is barrel aged and well, we don't know, but it's barrel aged. It doesn't say, does it? <laughs> it doesn't say. It just says, well, let's read it. Oxorcist 2 is dedicated to the long dead ghosts that haunt Shocktober's Paxton Manor in Leesburg. The beer is made with a magical combination of pumpkin, Vermont maple syrup, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, and vanilla bean, and formulated to exercise all unwanted spirits. Oxorcist 2 is scary good. Mm. 10%, 12 IBU, deep brown in color, subtle spice aroma, spice and roast flavor. Yep, looks roasty. It does, it does. Shall we? Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. That's uh that's boozy. I wasn't You can expecting. taste that right up. Yeah. yeah. You can taste that right up front. It's definitely boozy. I wonder if there is it's aged in like whiskey barrels or something or like bourbon bar bourbon barrels. Yeah, maybe whiskey or bourbon. Because it really tastes kind of like there's some Jack Daniels or something in there. Yeah, unfortunately, they did not tell us what kind of whiskey ba whiskey barrels. If whiskey at all. Yeah. I mean, generally, I think these are normally aged in bourbon barrels, so. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would assume. Yeah, you get that alcoholic t twinge even on the nose. I think it's bourbon barrels. Mm hmm It definitely smells like it. It's got this uh, kind of deep, malty roast to it that backs the in alcoholic the back, flavor. Yeah, I can get that. I get that maltiness, that roastiness. The, uh, the bourbon or whatever liquor that they use in these barrels kind of overpowers everything else. I was gonna say, there's not much spice or anything to yeah, this. Yeah, I can't. I can't discern what. I can't really discern. What does it say? I mean, I can take, like I'm getting some nutmeg and clove after I've had a few sips of it, but it definitely is hard to uh, distinguish at first because all you get is that booziness. You getting any cinnamon or nutmeg or? I got the nutmeg, cinnamon, not really. Maple syrup? No, not really. That's interesting. I thought I would taste a lot more of the uh, of, of everything the spice. else. Yeah, <laughs> of all this other stuff they they added to it. I guess, I guess those barrels were really really alcoholic. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of when I was younger and I would buy those little tiny shot, like those little, at the ABC store, they had the little tiny yeah. travel size of, of like Jack Daniels or whatever, mm -hmm. or Crown Royal. And like, I would try to mix my own Jack and Coke and it would always turn out a little bit too boozy. Oh yeah. That's exactly what this reminds yeah, me of. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. But instead of in a Coke, it's in a beer. Like I really feel like I'm, I'm almost drinking like, like they put, like somebody spiked my beer with, with Jack Daniels as they yeah. walked by in the bar and they were just like, bloop, uh -huh. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. No real spices to speak of though, which is unfortunate. I know. Well, you win some, you lose some with these, with these barrel aged things. I mean, it says though. Should I just bring out the other one? You know what? So we can compare it real quick and be like, yeah. is there something wrong? Okay, hold you on. You know what? Yeah. All right, so Sandra just got us the regular Oxorcist beer. Uh, the Oxorcist 2, not the barrel aged. So yes. we're gonna go ahead and compare these and just kind of see what the differences are between these two. Crack that so. sucker open and we'll see. We'll see what we've got here. It's like a bitch's brew right there. Yeah. Ooh. Kind of tricky to pour. Pour me up, pour me up. So already we're seeing more carbonation in this version than the other one. Now I can smell all the spices. Now I can smell, yeah, I'm getting cinnamon, I'm getting maltiness, I'm getting roastiness. So again, this is a 10% beer. This is the same exact beer, it's just not barrel aged. Mm -hmm. um, wow, that's a difference. Major difference, yeah. Like, I mean, I'm getting all the flavors in this beer, but as soon as you barrel, as soon as they barreled aged this, it completely canceled out every flavor in that beer. Yeah, it's almost like it was a pointless endeavor. Yeah. I mean, it really, there's really like, there's no point to doing that. I know that we've had barrel aged Imperial Ales that don't have that character of like complete booziness overtaking everything. Right, yeah. So I don't know what happened with this particular beer to, to cancel everything out. I mean, the spices in this aren't very strong. 
So it could be that the rum or the whiskey or whatever barrels that they aged mm -hmm. it in just completely killed it. I feel like this is kind of almost like um, has like a delicate, yeah, it's kind not of body of those... to it. So if you do too much to it, it's just. If you modify this in any way, it seems like it'll just fall apart. Yeah, it'll overtake whatever else you just did to it versus keeping with the original. Well, I gotta say, I like this one a whole lot better yep. than the barrel aged one. Definitely. Now, I wonder if there's like a huge price difference between this and the bottled barrel aged one. I mean, I think that one was like a few bucks more than this, like two or three bucks more. That's not horrible. Yeah. If it was better, it'd be worth it. To me, it really killed the good points of the beer that I wanted to that are advertised on it, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, definitely, for sure. And it looks like they, they even use the same label. Like... Yeah, what I don't understand is, well, I guess they didn't... They did. So I don't know. I don't know why they didn't add in something that said like, hey, it's been barrel aged for a year in whatever barrel it's been aged in. It's more special. This is why it's worth more money. Either way, I would say skip that one and go for the regular one. Yeah. That's what I say. Yeah. Definitely. All right, well that wraps up another can review. We hope you enjoyed watching the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell button down below to get notified when new videos come out. As always, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers. Whew, yeah. Feel it off my breath. I know. I feel like I smell like bourbon now. <laughs> Aroma, subtle spices. I'm not getting those spices. No. I'm getting Jack and Coke. I need a teleprompter, just right there. I need to, I need to buy a teleprompter. I really do, no. or an iPad, or, or like something to, just a sheet of paper, or like hire a midget to hold the paper right there and just, yeah. just like here you go, read this. All right, well that wraps up another brew. That wraps up another can review. All right, so here we are, brought out the regular October. <laughs> All right, well that does it for another can review. We hope you liked watching the video. We hope you enjoyed the video. We hope you enjoyed watching the video. <laughs> How many times are you gonna say the word? <laughs>